Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Microscope Beauty. We're back finally with another board game review. I know it's been a really long time. I'm hoping to make these a bit more regular on this channel because you guys really seem to love my first one of photosynthesis. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out above as well as in the description. Today we're talking about Twixt. It is a two player strategy game that originally came out in the 1960s and now there is a Kickstarter to bring it back. The basic premise of the game, you're competing against your opponent to build a wall using pegs and connectors from one side of the board to the other. You're trying to defend your wall while also trying to make sure that their wall doesn't make it to the other side first. So let's dive into how the game is played and then we'll come right back here and I'll talk about my thoughts and my overall review View and who the game is good for. So this is the Twixt board game. To start, the red player places one peg anywhere on the board except behind the opposing player's border lines. So I'm going to place this here. To keep things fair, the blue player can now decide to invoke what is called the swap rule. After seeing where the first player put their peg, the swap rule changes the player colors. So the blue player now becomes red and plays from this red peg, and the once red player is now blue and can place another starting peg. The swap rule can only occur on the first turn and it is invoked by the second player. Taking turns, each player puts down one peg at a time, but can add as many connecting fences and remove as many pegs as their strategy demands. In order to connect your pegs together, the pegs need to be a twixt apart. This moves like a knight does in chess. So it's either one over and two down, one over, two up, or two over and one down. That way the connector fits perfectly between the two pegs. Players do not immediately have to connect new pegs with fences. And you can place your pegs anywhere on the board. So pegs can literally be placed anywhere, except you can't place your peg on the opposing side's borders. Since you can place pegs anywhere on the board, you can start a new section of your wall over here while trying to defend your other section somewhere else on the board. Connecting fences cannot be crossed by another player. So if a red person plays their connecting fence there, the blue player cannot place their fence on top of it. The first player who builds a complete fence from one side of their colored border to the other is the winner. This type of game is all about the strategy. You have to think moves ahead of your opponent. And sometimes in situations like this one, things don't work out like you planned. So you have to switch it up and try a whole new strategy. Twixt is so simple in concept and can really be picked up quickly and easily. And it dives deep into just raw game theory. It's kind of like checkers and chess in that way. There is literally no fluff to this game. It's just basic strategy and technical thinking. And it's also a really quick game from start to finish. So if you want something fast that you can play after dinner or you just want to get a game in, this is a really great option. To me, this is one of those games that you would take up to your cabin or on vacation to like a lake house or something for long summer days, just hanging out by the beach and playing games. But I also think this is one of those games that you'll find yourself playing over and over and over again because you just want to be your opponent. Maybe there's a player that you always play games against and they just keep besting you in this one. I think this is one of those games that you could get really obsessed over and you want to try different techniques and see if this works against this type of player or maybe it doesn't work at all and you need to switch up your game strategy. Personally, I wish this game had a little bit more oomph to it. I wish it maybe had a theme, maybe more colors. I wish they would have added to the original 1960s game to make it a bit more modern. Modern, but I also understand the need to keep it nostalgic and kind of a throwback to that era of gameplay. Although I would have loved a little bit more visual appeal to this game, I think it's an amazing game to help you practice different gaming strategies to make you better at other games. When Alex and I were playing this game, it really felt like we were working out our brains, like we were doing practice rounds for other games we really like to play. I learned a lot of different techniques and strategies I wouldn't have otherwise thought of that I can apply to some of my other favorite games. Alex tends to lean more towards these games because he loves the subtle nuances in them, finding out different techniques and and tricks and trying something new and maybe it doesn't work out but giving it a shot in this game so he can figure out ways to play other games better. 
So if you're highly competitive, I may not recommend this game to play with your significant other. Things can get pretty heated. But it could be a really great game for older kids if they're trying to learn more like critical thinking and problem solving and strategy. This could be a really great option for a family friendly game. Overall, I think Twix is a really great game to add to your growing collection. It is so simple in concept, but I really think that's why it shines. It doesn't have any of the extra stuff that I personally like, but it just gets down to the nitty gritty of game theory and you can really learn a lot through playing this game. I also love the nostalgic, like old school vibes of it. I think that is really cool and can really bring the generations of board game lovers together. If you want more information about the game or to find out where to purchase it, definitely check out that first top link in the description. That'll send you to the Kickstarter page where you can check out all of the different prices and categories that they have. They also have a deluxe like collector's edition that looks gorgeous definitely worth checking out. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this game and also what other games you want to see me review next. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe so you can see those upcoming board game reviews and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.